Hi Fiat Forum, this is Ryfile, and this is my evaporative emissions reroute guide. I've already removed the intake. Now, let's take a look at what we removed. These are the, the stock evaporative emissions lines, the Venturi T. We're going to go see what that looks like removed from under the hood. We have here the valve, the purge valve. This comes from the charcoal canister. And this is the stock line, which we retain, but use in a different way. This is the capped off boost line, or boost leak line, I should say. And that typically ran over to the, the uh, Venturi T, and then through here, which ends up here. And this is the turbo compressor inlet. So this is where the evaporative emissions purged during boosted operation. And then this line, which has a check valve, goes to the intake manifold behind the throttle body. That's where the evap would purge during vacuum operation. So what I did is remove the boost leak and change the evap lines. So it's a much more efficient flow using factory check valve. You need three two inch uh, sections of three eighths diameter emissions hose. This is the Y that splits off turbo compressor inlet, intake manifold. So all we do is we take this, install it on the vehicle, and I'll set this down. Slide this here. Plug this in. And then plug this in. And that's what it ends up looking like. Vapors come out of the valve, go through one part of the Y, depending on engine operation. Check valve here, check valve down here, if you can see it. And this gives a much smoother, uh, less restricted flow of evap va vapors. So, so far 500 miles in this configuration, no check engine light or pending codes. The car drives much smoother in part throttle because we got rid of the boost leak. So as it stands right now, this is all good. All right, thanks for watching.